Cane sugar. Sugar cubes don't grow on trees. In fact, it takes a number of steps to turn sugar cane into refined white sugar. First, the cane field is set on fire to remove dead leaves. Then the stalks are harvested from the field. After being transported to the refinery, the cane is chopped or shredded before it is crushed in large roller mills, which releases raw sugar cane juice. Sugar cane juice contains sugar, dirt, and pieces of cane pulp. From there, calcium hydroxide is added to the juice and carbon dioxide is bubbled through the mixture, which helps to clarify the juice by creating insoluble calcium compounds. The calcium hydroxide also raises the juice's pH level. With the help of polyacrylamides, calcium compounds, muds, and other impurities are filtered out of the juice. Next, the juice travels to a filter where it is treated with activated carbon. After being filtered, the juice is sent through an evaporator to remove water causing the juice to thicken. The juice is then sent to a boiler where it is heated in a vacuum and fine seed crystals are added to aid in the formation of sugar crystals. Crystallization leaves behind a substance called mother liquor that will ultimately be made into molasses. To separate the sugar crystals from the mother liquor, they are put into a centrifuge. The final product is raw sugar, which is ready to be refined into white sugar. The refining process begins with affination, where the raw sugar crystals are melted into a syrup, dissolving the remaining molasses. Then the sugar is washed. From there, the sugar is clarified and decolored, either with phosphoric acid and calcium hydroxide or with calcium dioxide. Finally, the solution is boiled one last time to concentrate it into white granulated sugar crystals.